Well, the spot tail's done real well with us today for bait. What other types of baits are good out here? You know, the spot tails are the best I've found for this pattern. Uh, small thread fin shad will work well, but they're harder to catch and they're harder to keep alive. Small brim may work, but again, the spot tails are easy to catch, easy to keep alive, and bottom line is fish like them. So to answer your question, Greg, they're gonna be hard to beat. I got one, Greg. There he is. Oh, man. Oh, gotta get him up out of that brush. Now, come on up here. <laughs> Look at him going back down. He wants to get back down in a tree somewhere. I don't think he's gonna make it, though. Nice fish. That's a pretty one. I'm gonna get the pliers after that one. Alrighty. There he goes. I got one. Got him, Greg? Yep. Alright. Come over there and grab that one. He's a big one. You got a big they're heart, all, if nothing else. Big. <laughs> He's a fighter. Well, I'll tell you what. That's amazing. And of course, this is spots. They love to bore down to the bottom. Straight down. I'm going to bring it around to you. I'm, I'm ready. Let's get a hand. Oh, yeah. Got him. Mac, most of the day we've been catching the spotted with this type of bait. Is Spot, yeah, the, and a lot of it has to do, Greg, the type of uh, structure we're fishing. We're primarily concentrating on brush piles around flats and points. And most of what I catch with the spot tails are spotted bass, but it's not uncommon to catch a big mouth, occasionally a channel cat, small stripers, or not necessarily small, but stripers, and white bass. Particularly if you get in the northern part of the lake, we run into a lot of white. So it's really a fish that'll catch almost any kind of predator. Depends on what you're fishing around. So if you concentrate on the brush, uh, mostly spots, but good bait, good bait for all game fish. They're just, they're a real active fish. Actually, I'm not sure the game fish don't have trouble catching them if they're not tethered to a fish hook. They're so fast and they're so quick in the water. And when you put them in a hook and tether them to that big old lead, it's a whole lot more catchable. So you've seen the response we've gotten today. They really, you can really pull them up to, out, of the, out of the trash, out of the stumps, good bait. He's quit a little bit now, taking a break, but he was running with it a little bit well. She said it. Yeah, you got him now. I think that one's got it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Got your boat up there. I better yeah, reach so down there and grab that one, Mr. Gray. Okay, you got him? Yeah. Here, swing him over here to me. We got him. You got him. Hold oh, still. Swallowed it, didn't he? Pretty close. Now, I'll tell you what, my thinking on this, Greg. Oh. You got one? Yep. Watch this. Let's see if he's on there. He's on there. <laughs> Here, Greg. Give me a hand, <laughs> would you? I'm going to explain what I did on that one. What happened? Greg hooked the fish. I reached over to lift him. Well, I had my bait down. So I just set the rod in the rod holder and left the bait down. I turned around, the fish is running. He's turning my spool. And instead of trying to pick the rod up out of the rod holder and set the hook, I just reached over, kicked the reel in gear and started cranking real hard. The reason I did that, with the reel being out of gear, there's not a lot of pressure on this fish and we don't want him to know we're up here. If we pick it up out of the rod holder and start shaking it around, there's a good chance he'll blow it out. When you just put it in gear and set the hook like that, you don't have to worry about him feeling you jostling the rod around picking it up. And that'll get him almost every time. There. And it did that time. So long, Mr. Spotty Mac Bass. And Greg's, Dr. Mac's gonna have to work on this one a little bit. Yeah, swallow this one. And when you get one, and occasionally, I think with any type of live bait, you're gonna get fish that gets overzealous about eating it. And more often than not, I can see that hook, but more often than not, this fish will fare better if you'll cut the line and let him go instead of trying to go in there and basically perform surgery. So he looks good. As long as he can get hook, food past that hook, he'll be okay, Greg. So we're gonna cut him off, get you an extra fish hook, he looks good to me. We'll catch him again another day.
Greg, I appreciate it. I'm glad you could spend the day out here on the water with me. Mac, I had a great time. We had a lot of fun and learned a lot too and caught a mess of fish. Good, and we'll have to do it again. Folks, get you a cast net, a little bit of loaf bread, find you a nice sand beach, get some spot tails. I think you'll catch some fish with this too. We'll see you next time on Gone Fishing.